Before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. 24-year-old David Garmer, who was an NHS worker, was stabbed to death for nothing more than living in the wrong area. Now this wasn't a person who was part of a gang. He did not have any gang ties and by all accounts this was a person whom lived their best life on a straight and narrow and was a person any parents could be proud of. To summarise, he did exactly what he was supposed to do. And for all that he'd done, his life was heinously taken away by four people who were part of the East London gang. The 24-year-old marketing graduate had a job that gave him personal satisfaction and he worked for an establishment that was held in high regard, the NHS. The victim, 24-year-old David Gummel, who worked in supply and procurement in the NHS, was essentially slaughtered by a teen gang in East London at the height of the first lockdown and was targeted as part of an ongoing stupid feud between rival gangs that had a fever temperament. Now, the unspoken game between the feuding gangs was to kill any person who may be from the rival gang's neighbourhood so that the victim could be used as a warning to further cement their seriousness and thirst for violence. Consider it a trophy killing, if you will. On the night of the murder, April 26th, 2020, David Gummer was actually on the phone to his girlfriend when he was confronted by four people in Freeman's Mason Road, Canning Town, London. It was reported that the gang asked David where he was from and then they launched into their ferocious attack. After being stabbed, David actually managed to get to his feet and stumbled a short distance to his home, but sadly he died from the serious injuries right in front of his distraught family, the court was told. The alleged murderers are as follows. 19-year-old David Toure, 22-year-old Vagni Kalubali, 19-year-old Mohamed Jella and a 17-year-old teenager have been charged with the innocent man's murder. So, during the court case, prosecutor Oliver Glasgow told the court David Gummer was chosen at random, despite having nothing to do with the gang. And the murderers were part of a known East London gang called Northside Newham Gang. The killing was going to be used to send a message to rival gang members all around London. And all four criminals are either members or associates of the Newham Gang. The jury was also told that prior to David's murder, the gang had actually attacked another man, but somehow, and fortunately, he actually managed to escape. Now, we do not know if the unnamed man was sustained any injuries. As for 24-year-old David Gourmet, he suffered catastrophic injuries. His main arches were severed, his liver had been cut through, and some of the other wounds were as deep as 12.5 centimetres, and some of the wounds also had been sliced to the bone. This was a gang that had every intent of murdering a person on the night in question, again April 26th, 2020. The four-man gang had procured a stolen Dutch calibre and had drove around the rival's area in search of potential victims. Now maybe it was because that David did not look like a gang member that was the actual reason he was murdered. Maybe it was also because he was on the phone and he looked like an easy target. The jury heard that on the evening of the killing, the four defendants met at a hotel in Stratford before travelling in a minicab to a quiet residential street in Plasto. Each was carrying a bag, the court heard, believed to contain a change of clothing, for once they killed a person. In Plasto, they were said to have changed their clothes in a flat in a side street before collecting the Dodge, which is thought to have been stolen and fitted with fake plates. David Gum was chosen as a target at around 10.20pm, the jury heard, and Jello, Torre and the 17-year-old teenager carried out the attack and returned to the vehicle within a matter of seconds. The trial continues. All I can say is condolences to David's family. Stay safe. Safe. 